Hi everyone, it's Constance from Rock Springs Library, and I'm back here again for another segment of Create with Constance, where we take a look at some of the nominees for the Wyoming Book Awards, I give you a little synopsis, and then we create a craft based on the book. For today, we are going to be looking at the story Potato Pants by Lori Keller. Now this is a picture book all about a potato on a journey to find the perfect pair of pants. He has some ups and downs, but eventually finds a way to resolve his issues. It's a silly book that I'm sure everyone can enjoy. Keep in mind that you can find most of the titles available through our online database, which you can find through our website and access using your library card. You can also find all the nominees at your local library. For today's project, we are actually going to learn how to draw the main character, Potato. And there's going to be a fun twist with his pants towards the end, but stay tuned. For this project, all you will need is a pencil with an eraser, black marker for outlining, blank paper, something to color with, and some scissors. Now that we have all of our supplies, let's learn how to draw Potato. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do for this project is actually split my paper up into fourths to work on a smaller canvas. You don't have to do this step, it is optional, you can use the entire piece of your paper. Now that I have my paper split, I'm going to zoom in so you can get a better view of what we're doing and then we will get started on the drawing. To begin, I'm actually going to start by drawing a frame around my piece of paper. You don't have to do this step if you don't want to, it's just something that I prefer doing. Now that we have a frame, we are going to start by drawing an oval in the middle of our paper, and this is going to be our potato guy. So the next thing we're going to do is actually add the shape of the pants onto our little dude here. So we're going to start by drawing a horizontal line slightly below halfway along our potato. And we're going to make a little rectangle, and this is going to be the waistband of the pants. Next, we're just going to follow along with the body on both sides. And then at the bottom, we're going to draw two little rectangular type shapes. And you don't want them to touch all the way down to the frame yet. These are just the pant legs. Now if you want, you can go ahead and add the feet. It's just a little line and then a horizontal oval. So the next step we're going to do is draw the mouth. And you can give your character any expression you'd like. I'm going to have mine with a big open smile. Next we're going to draw the eyes. Now this character's eyes are a little uneven. You can go ahead and copy that if you like, or you can give it whatever eye shape you'd like. The first eye I'm going to start with is the left, and it's a vertical oval. From that, I'm going to make the other eye, which ends up being a bit more circular. And then just add two circles for the pupils. Next, we're going to add in some eyebrows. So just draw a little Cheeto puff shape for the left one. And this one's a bit thicker. Now we're gonna add three hairs on the top. You can shape those however you'd like. And then we're going to add some little suspenders. So just draw a diagonal little rectangle on both sides. Now we're going to add the arms, which are just a curved line, and then draw a little half circle shape, and then three little half circles inside. And do the same on the other side. We are almost done. All you have to do is add in the little spots. So just all over, you can give them little potato spots. That's it for the drawing portion. If you want, you can give it a background. You don't have to. And we're actually not going to draw a design on the pants. You'll see what we're doing with those a bit later. But you can put a design on the waistband and the little suspenders if you'd like. Once you're ready, go ahead and outline your potato.
once you've finished outlining your potato, you can go ahead and color it in. I would just leave the pants blank. Once you have your potato all colored in, we're actually going to take our scissors and cut out the shape of the pants. So we're almost done. All we have left to do is find some cool prints for our potato pants. So that wraps up today's video. I hope you guys all enjoyed making your potato pants. Feel free to share your creations with us on Facebook and while you're at it, go ahead and check out what other fun things we have going on at all three of the different libraries. As always guys, stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll see you back here again for another segment of Create with Constance. Bye!